And guess what? It's time for the application problem, which is a real world problem. Something that could happen to you or me or the kid across, across the street. Never know. You never know when this problem might occur in your real real day-to-day -day life. So let's get right down to it. I wish I had my cards out and was working with you one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm busy teaching the fourth graders in person, so you have to be responsible for your own learning. That is commitment. Well, Mr. Lega set his timer. We're going to spend about 10 minutes on this. If you notice Mr. Lega's trying to slow things down a little bit, I've been going way too fast. So our application problem, we have Michaela and Gilda read the same book. Hmm, I wonder what book it was. My favorite book is called Catch-22. So we have Michaela and Gilda read the same book. Because remember, when we do um, Eureka Math, it's the RDW method. We read, we draw, we write. We have fun. We learn. Let's find out what's going on. It take typo, it takes Michaela about eight minutes to read a chapter and Gilda about 10 minutes. Okay. Fair enough. There are nine chapters in this book. I didn't mean to do a squiggly line yet. Okay. How many fewer minutes does Michaela spend reading than Gilda? Do your best. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do our best. So now that we've underlined what we know, we squiggly line what we need to find out, let's take a little trip back to the problem and circle the numbers. Michaela, eight minutes. Gilda, 10 minutes, and nine chapters. All right. Well, let's kind of make some ape diagrams. I mean, tape diagrams. Last time I made an ape diagram, he tore up the house. So we have Michaela here. We're just going to put a big M. And yes, once indeed, you are copycats. So we have Michaela. And our um, book Make that tape diagram. Has nine chapters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we have chapter one, chapter chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six, chapter seven, chapter eight, chapter nine. And if you need to pause the recording to catch up, <laughs> that's fine. All right, what we don't know, excuse me. We know it takes Michaela about eight minutes to read a chapter. So I'm going to go ahead and put eight in all of these. And you could do that too because you're copycats. You know, I used to make my eights that way, but then I saw somebody make eights like that, so I started doing it. All righty, and now what we're going to do is make a bracket. And this is the great unknown. Whoops. Question mark. We don't know. We don't know how long it took Michaela to read those nine chapters. Now, let's go over to our friend Gilda. And I'm going to leave a little space here. And once again, Gilda is reading nine chapters. Remember, it's the same book. And let's do nine chapters. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Maybe she's reading a book of poetry by Robert Frost. And she's reading uh, the poem Birches. All right, so let's do 10 minutes each. 10, 10. And these are the chapters of the book, and it takes Gilda 10 minutes to read each chapter. What we don't know is how long that total is. Well, let's think about this. I have, um, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chapters, eight minutes each. So I'm going to do eight times nine. You with me on that? Each chapter, eight minutes, nine chapters. Gilda down here is a little slow reading. Maybe she's more careful, wants to comprehend everything. And so what she's going to do is she's taking these chapters, 10 minutes each, times 9. Okay, so we all know what 10 times 9 equals, correct? I hope so. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 
So it takes Gilda 90 minutes to read. We got that down here. But our question is, how many fewer minutes does Michaela spend reading than Gilda? And does she brag about it? I hope not. So let's figure out what we need to do to figure out 8 times 9, okay? You with me on this? I hope you are. 8 times 9. Hmm. What method should we use? Maybe we should use the uh, multiplying by 5. So we could say, um, let's go back up right here. We'll say 9. Are you, well, no, let's not do that. Way. Let's go 9 times 5. Because we all know what 9 times 5 equals, right? Plus, we would do 9 times uh, 8 minus 5 is 3. And this will help us figure it out. What's 9 times 5? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And 9 times 3. Well, remember when we look in our patterns? Let's, let's revisit the patterns. We have 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2, 9 minus 1 is 8. Plus 10 would be 18, right? Uh, 8 plus 1 is 9. 10 plus 10 excuse me, 8 minus 1 is 7, been a long day, and 10 plus 10 would be 20, so we'd have 27. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, and 9 times 3 is 27. So this is going to be 45 plus 27. You with me? I hope so. Let's think about 45 plus 27. Okay. I don't know why I did that, just thought I would. 45 plus 27. 5 plus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put the 1 right here. 4, 5, 6, 7. We get 72. So 8 times 9 must equal 72. So now we just need to do our writing because we read, we drew, and now we write. Michaela, and you please write along with me. Sometimes I say don't bother, but we got a little extra time. Michaela spins. Wait, I didn't finish the problem. What did Mr. Lega not do? We got to subtract. We got to say 90 minus 72 because the question is, how many fewer minutes does Michaela spend reading than Gilda? So I have to go over here and do 90 minus 72. Woo! How embarrassing. Okay, can I, can I just go, okay, 2 minus 0 is 2. I hope we're over that. I really do because that doesn't cut. No, we have to Decompose, make that an 8, bring 10 over here, 10 minus 2, 10, 9, 8, 80 minus 70 is 10, and we have 18. So Michaela spends 18 fewer minutes reading. Isn't that nice? We read very carefully. Up here, we drew two nice pictures, I think. Nice little cat. Did the math, and then we wrote down our answer that Michaela spends 18 fewer minutes reading. Remember, they read the same amount, just Michaela spent eight minutes on each chapter, and Gilda spent 10 minutes on that, each chapter. And that was the difference. Another way you probably could do this, you could think about it, would be to count by two, skip count two, because 10 is two, uh, is great. Is, Two more than eight, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We could have done it that way as well. I hope you enjoyed this math lesson as much as I did. Come on back to the fourth grade class where uh, maybe you can learn a few tricks on division. That's what we're covering. And then at 10 o'clock, it will be Moby Max time uh, and makeup work. Got to make up all that work so I can squeeze it into the report cards. And um, yeah, that'll be it. Let me get the pause button going here. Oops, not there. Oh, yeah, Screencastify. Screencastify. And bye for now.